Okay, time to look at syncopated string crossing shuffle. Okay, um, we're gonna use here's here's what we're here's what we're aiming for. Okay, and then I'll I'll play it and then I'll break it down for you. That's one whole cycle. Okay, so if I do two in a row, it sounds like this. It's easier to hear that it's two cycles um, if I change chords. So I'll do that here. Okay, that's a pattern from a tune called Back Up and Push. So I'll break that down for you. The string crossing pattern is um, I'm using the D and A strings. So it's D D A, D D A, D D A, and then D D A D. I said that right. It's a little confusing without having notes changing to be able to keep your place. So um, I'll talk you through it. We'll put first finger on the D string, second finger on the A string, and you can just leave those down and then your third finger will alternate so that when you go to the A string it'll alternate between the second and third finger. So here's the pattern really slowly. Again. All right, let's just do that pretty slowly a bunch of times and we'll pause in between, okay? So about this fast. Uh, another thing is to keep your bow in the, keep your bow on the string right in the middle of the bow and rock your bow as little as possible. So here we go. One, two, three, four. to, uh, well, either just have some variety in your chords, or if you actually are trying to learn back up and push, I'll show you the next chord. It goes, if that was a C chord we we're outlining, it's going to go to an F chord. So we're going to have the first finger bridging both of the strings, like this. And you don't want to rock it back and forth, you want to just plant it right in the middle. And then you're alternating. So it's the same fingering from the A string, okay, but uh, for the D string, you're going to alternate between going like this and going like this. So here it is, the C chord, so first finger on the D, one, two, three, four. second finger over to the D string so it hits both strings. Ready, go. Back to the first finger. Back to the second finger. First finger. I know that doesn't sound as cool as you want it to, but you can't cut this part short. You have to just do it until your arm knows where you are. So let's do it about, oh, 10 more times. First finger, ready, go. Second finger. 
cut you off easy. Um, I'll try it a few times without stopping in between, so you're going to have to just have your second finger ready to go right at the right time. I'll slow it down a little bit. One, two, three. 